In the beginning, God created the whole world and everything in it. Oceans, trees, rocket cars, beef jerky. Okay, rocket cars and beef jerky weren't around yet, but God's most precious creation was. God loves humans best. That's why when humans disobeyed God and messed things up, God had a plan to make everything right again. His plan started when he chose the Israelites to be his special people. The family grew into a whole nation, and that nation would bring blessing to the whole world. Spoiler alert, that's Jesus. The Israelites were far from perfect, though. I mean, no one had even thought to invent chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream yet. Sorry, when I say they weren't perfect, I actually mean they sinned a lot. That means they chose to live their own way, instead of following God. So God sent messengers called prophets to warn the Israelites to return to God. God cares for everyone, so he sent prophets to other people too, like the Ninevites. They were actually enemies to the Israelites, and they were really mean. And when God asked a man named Jonah to bring them God's message, Jonah didn't want to. He hopped on a ship going in the opposite direction of Nineveh, but God wasn't having it. He sent a huge storm to catch up to Jonah's ship. The sailors on the ship didn't know what to do, but Jonah knew the storm was from God. So he told the sailors to lend him an umbrella. That's not true. He told them to throw him overboard. God didn't let him drown though. Instead, he sent a huge fish. Jonah still didn't die. He had a relaxing three-day, three-night stay in the luxurious Fish Belly Hotel. Huh? All right, it wasn't luxurious. It was probably super gross. But after three days, the fish spit him out onto dry land. Again, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. And this time he went. When Jonah got to Nineveh, he told them God was going to destroy the city in 40 days. You see, God wanted the Ninevites to ask for forgiveness for all the wrong they had done. And wow, did people listen to God's warning. They changed their ways. The people called on God and wore mourning clothes to show they were sad for the way they had acted. They even gave Jonah a brand new motorcycle as a way to say thank you. That's not true. But what is true is that the king passed a law for the people to stop doing evil. God saw their hearts were changed, so he didn't destroy them. With God, everyone gets a chance to follow his ways instead of the wrong ways. Many years later, God sent his son, Jesus, to earth. Remember that spoiler? How the Israelites were God's special people and that Jesus was born from that family? When Jesus was an adult, he reminded people of Jonah's story and showed them how it kind of predicted his own story. First, to defeat death, Jesus knew he would spend three days and three nights in the grave, which, remember, is exactly how long Jonah was inside the fish. Jesus was telling people that he was going to die and rise again. And remember how God sent Jonah to Nineveh? Well, God sent Jesus for the whole world, proving that God's good news is for everyone not just one special group of people. There are also big differences between Jonah and Jesus. For starters, Jonah ran away from God's mission. But when God sent Jesus, he chose to give his life so people could have a chance to turn from their sins and be saved. Through Jesus' death and his resurrection three days later, we see that God has good news for the whole world.